morning students i am sir sunil your physics teacher how are you all i hope you all are fine today we are going to discuss about the topic from our chapter matter explanation of vaporization by molecular model please take out your book all those who don't have the book please stay on video we know that in a liquid the molecules move in all directions but within the boundary of the container in a liquid the molecules move in all directions because in liquids the molecules are arranged loosely and they moves within the boundary of the container which they are present they exerts small forces of attraction on each other in between the molecules there is a small force of attraction in liquids and also they have low kinetic energy if anything moves we know that the kinetic energy produces here the molecules are moving so in between the molecules there is an energy that is kinetic energy they got a low kinetic energy on heating the average kinetic energy of the molecules of liquid increases at a particular temperature means the boiling point the molecules acquire sufficient energy to overcome the forces of attraction between themselves and they become free to leave the liquid surface this is called the vaporization this is called the vaporization thus a liquid changes into vapor at a particular temperature by the absorption of heat energy so a liquid changes to vapor state at a particular temperature the temperature is called a boiling point by the absorption of heat energy by absorbing the heat energy the liquid changes to vapor state in a particular boiling point the heat energy absorbed does not change the kinetic energy of the molecules but is utilized in doing work against the forces of attraction in increasing the separation between the molecules that means in increasing their potential energy okay students now we are going to discuss about the topic evaporation evaporation is another process by which a liquid changes into vapor the change of state from liquid to vapor at all temperatures at a all temperatures not in a particular temperature there is a difference between vaporization and evaporation the change of state please underline it the change of state from liquid to vapor that's correct but here is a difference at all temperatures from the surface of a liquid is called evaporation the change of state from liquid to vapor at all temperatures from the surface of a liquid is called evaporation it is noted that evaporation takes place at all temperatures evaporation takes place at all temperatures but vaporization takes place only at a fixed temperature please underline it evaporation 
take place evaporation take place at all temperatures at same time vaporization vaporization takes place only at a fixed temperature which is the boiling point of the liquid there is a first difference between evaporation and vaporization second one evaporation is a slow and gradual process evaporation is a slow and gradual process whereas vaporization is a rapid and violent process another difference evaporation is a slow and a gradual process but vaporization is a rapid and a violent process another point evaporation takes place only at the surface of the liquid whereas vaporization takes place over the entire liquid evaporation takes place only at the surface of the liquid but vaporization takes place over the entire liquid okay evaporation takes place only surface of the liquid but vaporization takes place over entire liquid another one evaporation has cooling effect evaporation has cooling effect but vaporization does not produce cooling the process of evaporation can be demonstrated by the following activity okay we have one activity here that is activity number 9 please observe it some water on the floor by spraying spray some water on the floor you will find that after some time the floor dries up it dries up because the water evaporates means the water changes to vapor similarly a wet cloth dries up after some time due to evaporation of the water from the cloth understood now a wet cloth dries up we are always drying the clothes okay we know that the wet cloth dries up after some time due to evaporation clear the wet cloth dries up due to evaporation of water from the cloth now we are going to discuss about the rate of evaporation the rate of evaporation of a liquid depends mainly on the following five factors first one the temperature of a liquid a wet cloth dries up on a hot day much faster than on a cold day we know that in hot day wet cloth dries up very fast than a cold day thus the evaporation of the ra- sorry the eva- rate of evaporation is higher if the temperature of liquid is high so we can say that the rate of evaporation is higher if the temperature of liquid is high if the temperature of liquid is high the evaporation is higher the second point is the rate of evaporation depend the area of the exposed surface a cloth dries up faster if it is spread out than if it is folded up if we fold and keep the clothes it won't dry up fast if if we spread and keep the clothes outside it dries up very fast we know that otherwise you observe one day thus we can say that the rate of evaporation increases if the area of 
surface exposed increases as the area of the exposed surface increases the evaporation increases now third point is the nature of liquid volatile liquid with low boiling point such as alcohol spirit ether etc evaporate much faster than water this is why volatile liquids are stored in tightly closed bottles why the volatile liquids are stored in tightly closed bottles because the volatile liquids such as alcohol spirit ether and all evaporate much faster than water it evaporate much faster than water that is because of nature of liquid another point which uh, related to rate of evaporation is the flow of air above the liquid if air is blown above the liquid surface it moves away the molecules of liquid from the surface with it so the liquid evaporates more quickly that is why to cool the milk we blow air above our next point is the presence of moisture or humidity in dry air evaporation is faster than in humid air this is why wet clothes dry faster in dry summer days than in rainy season in dry summer days the wet clothes dry faster than the rainy season why what is the reason in dry air the evaporation is faster than in humid air now our topic is explanation of evaporation by the molecular model this topic will discuss tomorrow thank you students and have a nice day